In this session, we're going to talk about petty cash and using QuickBooks software to manage and account for a petty cash fund. To begin, let's come here under the Lists pull-down menu and let's come down to Chart of Accounts. Here, we need to set up an account in our Chart of Accounts for petty cash. Let's come down to Account, New, Type of Account is Bank, and Name is Petty Cash. Click OK. Now we have a petty cash account in our chart of accounts. Let's fund our petty cash with an initial balance of $200. Come here under Banking, Write Checks, our bank account is checking because we're going to take $200 from our checking account and put it in our petty cash box. Our pay to the order of is cash and down here use the new account you just set up, petty cash, and the amount is $200. Now you can print this check, take it to your bank and cash it, bring the cash back and put it in your petty cash box. Notice now we have a balance in petty cash of $200. Now let's assume that a couple of weeks have gone by and we look in our petty cash box and we find a lot of receipts and just a little bit of cash left. So we need to replenish our petty cash and bring the balance up to $200 again and reconcile and record our expenses. We do all of this with one transaction. Let's come under Banking, write checks once again. Our account is checking and our pay to the order is cash. Now let's come down here and reconcile the receipts that are in the petty cash box. We find receipts for meals and entertainment to only $96.10. We find receipts for office supplies totaling $82.15. And we find a receipt for our newspaper delivery of $16.10. So we have total expenses out of our petty cash box of $194.35. That's how much cash we need to replenish our petty cash box and bring it back up to $200. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Come down here on the next line and use the petty cash account. Put in the total of the expenses as a negative. 194 35. Notice now our check total is zero. What we've done here is we've recorded these expenses to these expense accounts and we've deducted the cash from petty cash. So if we were to look at our petty cash balance right now it would show a balance of $200 minus $194.35. Now we come down to our next line and we use the petty cash account again and we replenish it with the 194.35. That's how much we need the check to be for. Now we can print this check, take it to the bank, cash it, bring this cash back and put it back in our petty cash box. We take the receipts out of the box and file them accordingly. Let's click on save and close. You can see our petty cash balance is at the $200 level again. Let's come down and let's look at some of our expenses. Let's go up to our meals and entertainment account and let's look at a quick report. You can see here's the $96.10. That's how easy it is to handle a petty cash fund using QuickBooks software.